guys and welcome back to another super loopy woman video. I'm Caitlin. I'm really happy to have you here. If you're new, consider hitting that subscribe button down below if you like what you see today. Um, so today I'm doing kind of a product review comparison type of situation. So um, if you're familiar with me or my channel at all, I have super sensitive skin. I have um, cutaneous lupus or discoid lupus. I have autoimmune progesterone dermatitis, so I have a lot of sensitive skin issues. And I wanted to try out this product for the longest time, and I thought to myself, why not do it here on YouTube? So um, today I'm going to be comparing um, my regular routine of just shaving my one leg with um, this EOS Evolution of Smooth Shave Cream for Sensitive Skin. It has colloidal oatmeal. I really, really like this stuff. Um, and then this is a five blade razor. So we're gonna do this on my right leg. And then on my left leg, we are going to try this Nair hair removal sensitive skin formula. So supposedly they've come a long way with their formula. I have not used a depilatory cream in years, probably since I was in middle school. Um, I was curious about it in middle school and their product formula was terrible. God, it smelled so bad and it chemically burned my skin. So hopefully that doesn't do this. <laughs> but if it does, then you'll know maybe it's not for those with sensitive skin or lupus, autoimmune progesterone, dermatitis, whatever. So I'm going to give this a try on camera. We'll see what happens. So um, one of my legs, I am going to shave here. Yes, I am sitting in my kitchen sink. And the other leg, we're going to try that in air sensitive skin formula. So let's see what happens. Hopefully I don't burn my skin off. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm gonna start with this leg here doing just regular shaving and then we'll do the nair over here. And I don't know how well the camera is zooming right now. I know that you can see my bruises, so yeah, sorry about that. Um, I haven't shaved my legs in a period of time. I don't remember the last time that I shaved my legs, but we have like a forest situation happening. And actually, I really don't mind it, but whatever. Um, you know, COVID, whatever, no need. My husband's been out of town, whatever. You know, do, do you, do you. So, um, okay, so let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna actually put this on first because you have to leave it on for five to 10 minutes. Um, so let's read the instructions real quick. Let's see, apply the cream outside of the shower. Skin must be dry before application. Unplug the pump and turn counterclockwise to dispense cream onto a smooth side of a dry sponge. They didn't give me one, which I've seen in other product reviews for this, that they provide one. They did not in this case, so I'm just going to use a white washcloth and see where that gets me. Here it says do not rub in and don't exceed 10 minutes. So we're going to try like six or seven minutes just because I have let it grow. It is a little bit coarse. Um, so let's, let's give this a go. And like I said, I've never used this product before. So I have watched some YouTube reviews though. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Like I said, it didn't come with a sponge, which I feel like every review I watched, it came with a sponge. So, all right. I'm a little nervous. I hope it doesn't chemically burn me, but all right. I just want to reread the instructions. Okay. I'm just gonna go big you know like you probably can't see because the washcloth is white but let's see what happens oh my god oh Ooh, it feels weird because I know it says it always says to put on a thick layer but not to rub it in so and that's like really like important because it's in like capital bold letters. So I'm trying to put a thick layer on without rubbing it into the skin, which I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one who doesn't understand that. It 
if this works though, this would be great because, I mean, it's pretty easy. It's supposed to last longer than shaving. My hair grows very fast and very coarse. Whenever I was about uh, maybe like 19 or 20, I got laser hair removal. Um, but I didn't get it on the legs though because it was like really expensive. So my thoughts on the product comparison are, I don't know which one's better, but I definitely am impressed by the Nair Sensitive Skin Formula. It didn't burn my skin at all. There's no irritation, nothing. Like it's just smooth and it feels good. We'll see how long it lasts though. Um, I will, I'll take a picture of my legs in a couple of days. Maybe like over the next couple of days, just so you can see the comparison between the two but overall like I wouldn't say that one side feels smoother than the other I think they're both about the same um, but let's see if I have any reaction throughout the day or um, let's also see how long it lasts hey guys it is Wednesday evening and I filmed that video on I think it was Sunday so I wanted to give you an update this leg was um, the leg that was neared. This leg was the leg that was shaved and I have had my husband um, pet me <laughs> every day and he voted that the shaving, the shave leg was the smoothest. At this point they both feel about the same so I'm really not as impressed as I wanted to be. You can see I have some irritation here, um, but not really on the shaven leg. So now you know. I I wouldn't say that like I wouldn't do the narrow again, but because it really didn't irritate me. Just these dots here. I'm not sure why, but um, yeah, I probably just stick to shaving because I mean it really doesn't last. The nair doesn't last as long as it says it does, for sure. So they're about the same. 
Okay, well, thanks for watching and thanks for staring at my hairy legs. Love you guys.